Hello and welcome to Happy Handicrafts. My name is Joanna and today we are going to be making a paper sloyd hexagonal tray. This model is the fifth project from the third year from the book Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. It's a cute little tray and it introduces some new skills. Up to now we've been making trays that are rectangular or square and now we're introducing new shapes so it's kind of fun it's something new um, that being said the inst we did find the instructions a little bit difficult to follow we were a little bit challenged there but the good news is we worked it through and it turned out really cute so stick with us and we'll get you through it as well now the materials we're going to need for this project are the book paper sloyd for primary grades by Edna Ann Rich. Again, if you don't have this book, I'll put a couple of links below. You can find it online. You're also going to need a cutting mat, a compass, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, a ruler, some glue, and some good quality paper that is at least six inches by six inches. Ours is 12 by 12, so I'll show you how we manage that next. We're, since we know it's 12 inches by 12 inches, we're gonna start by finding the middle of our paper. So we're measuring down on the left six inches, halfway, and we're drawing a dot. Then we're gonna do the same on the right. We're gonna measure down from the top to the six inch mark, and we'll draw a dot. Then we'll join those two dots with a line. Then we're gonna measure in from the left at the top to the six inch mark, and we'll put a dot. We'll then do the same thing at the bottom of the paper. We'll measure in from the left to the six inch mark, put a dot, and then we'll join those two dots again with a line. Now the book tells us to draw a horizontal line that is six inches long and to place a dot in the middle of that line. Well, we already have a horizontal line. We're gonna measure it to equal six inches and the three inch mark is gonna be that middle point. So we're gonna just put a little dot at the zero inch mark and the six inch mark. Now we're gonna set the compass to equal three inches and we're gonna draw a circle around that middle point. And it's okay to reset that middle point anytime you need to, to get a better angle with your hand. This takes a little practice. We're next gonna set our compass at two inches. And from that middle point, we're gonna draw a two inch circle with our compass inside that three inch circle. We're next instructed to divide the inner circle into six equal parts. Now we know that a circle is 360 degrees, so if we divide that into six equal parts, we're gonna get six equal parts of 60 degrees. So we're going to use a protractor and we're going to measure 60 degrees from our horizontal line. That's going to be our first part. The second we're going to measure at 120 degrees. We're just going to add 60 more degrees to that. The third part will be the horizontal line. So we'll just flip the paper and do the same to the other side. 
We'll put the line of the protractor on our horizontal line and measure to 60 degrees and then at 120 degrees and put a dot at each spot. Now we'll place our ruler on the dots crossing the midline of the circle and we'll just draw slanting lines from the two inch circle out to the edge of the three inch circle. And we'll do that at each of our 60 degree points. This protractor shows how each of the 60 degree marks are of equal size, if you wanted to kind of double check that. Next, we're gonna use our ruler and we're gonna place dots on the circumference of the outer circle, one quarter of an inch on each side of the lines we just drew. So we're gonna go around and do that to each of the lines. We're gonna do it on our horizontal line, then at our 60 degree mark. We're gonna ignore that vertical line. We're gonna to go to the 120 degree mark. And we're just gonna put dots on each side of it a quarter of an inch away. We'll then do it on the horizontal line that's going to be our 180 degree mark. At 60 more degrees is the 240 degree mark. We're going to ignore our vertical line and we'll do it at the 300 degree mark as well. Now using our ruler, we will draw lines from the dots to the to this 2 inch circle. Essentially, it's creating a V. Now, one of these lines is darker. The one, the line to the right or on top where you see Lucy doing it is going to be darker because we're going to cut that line. And we're going to dot the other, li the other line because it's going to be folded. I don't know if these instructions are clear. We kind of had difficulty with it, but at least you can watch what Lucy's doing and kind of copy what she's doing and that might help. Our goal is that eventually our circle or our diagram will look like the diagram in the book.
Now finally, we're going to draw a hexagon inside the inner circle. So we'll just, using our ruler, we will join all the six dots that are evenly spaced with a line. Remember, a hexagon is a shape with six sides. Oops, we missed one. <laughs> There's the last line to create our hexagon inside the two inch circle. Next, we're going to use our X-Acto knife to cut around the outside of the circle and then to cut our darkened lines between the two inch and the three inch circle. Take your time and turn your paper, turn the circle so that you feel comfortable when cutting with the X-Acto knife. When you're finished, you can remove the circle and cut those smaller lines from the, from the um, two inch circle out to the edge. Now we're going to use our ruler to make our folds. Now remember, I always tell this, this is just an optional um, way of doing it, but we find that it makes our lines a little sharper. So we use a ruler initially, and then we reinforce our folds with kind of the back end of the ruler or the back of our nail or something just to make really nice crisp lines. Now just take your time and reinforce each of those folds.
The final step is to glue it. So you're gonna fold the tabs inside, put glue on the outside of them, and just press them onto the inside part of the next tab. We started doing it one at a time and actually found that it was easier to do it two at a time because as you can see, it just fell apart when we went to do the next step. So here, Lucy's gonna hold two of them in place at a time, let them set, and then we'll go on to the next one. That seemed to work a little better for us. So we did two tabs at a time. Just work your way around until you're finished. You're gonna put that glue on the tabs and press them against the side of the tray. And that's it. There's our tray, isn't it cute? We didn't really know what to do use it for, so we thought we would use it as a sand bath for our little hamster, but she had no interest in it as you can see. So we turned it upside down and used it as a display for our little chick. What did you use yours for? Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.